Hello and welcome to Infinity, and indeed welcome back to the Absolute Beginners course series 2. Uh, in the first series we looked at a number of the tools along here, around here, and doing the adjustments in here. And um, this one, we're, of course, we're going to go on a bit further with things. We're going to do some of the, you may just fill in a bit of this and a bit of that. But the thing we're going to do most of is we're going to start looking at layers. Now, when I started out, I thought layers were kind of pretty scary things. And I must admit, I didn't touch them for years. But when I started using them, I found how useful they really were. Because you can do things like go back and change things and tweak things you changed a little while ago. And you can do really good before and after. You know, before I changed this and afterwards, very, very simply. But we're not going to start with that one because that is, is a bit more of a step. We're going to sort of ease into it by doing a bit of fun stuff here. But also very useful stuff. This picture I took of a church. I just like the light on it here, but it's at a bit of an angle. So we're going to do some straightening up. And the way to do that is if you go down here on the left here, at the bottom is a thing they call a perspective tool. If you can't see it, right click on it and you'll see it there. Now then, what have we got here? We've got some controls here. There's one they can show called show grid, which might be on like that. But when you're trying to straighten things up, it can be a bit of a nuisance. So I normally turn it off. Then all you do with this is the corner points here, little squares here, is you can see exactly what happens is you move it around and you can reshape it. But it'll snap into, into the corner shape here if you've got snapping on up there. Now then, what we want to do is get these pillars here vertical. And we can do this by pulling this these along here. I can pull this one in here, or I can pull this one out here. But it falls off if I do that way. So I usually will pull in this way, so I can clone in some of the edges there if I need to. If I want to see more exactly where it is, I go to View and do Show Grid. And if the colour's not to my suiting or I can't see it, I can always go to View and grid and access manager here i can change the colors by clicking on the ones down here now then i can see this here so let's get this nice and vertical here so i can move this along till about works i can move this one along here till i get a nice vertical line there now then also i'd like to get this horizontal here working so let's take one of these top ones and I can move in two dimensions here. See if it's jumping to the edge. I'll just turn that snapping off there. Then I can move this a bit more smoothly. And I'm going to do two at once here. So I'm trying to get the line horizontal there, but making sure this stays vertical. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to apply that. Turn the grid off. View. Uh, where is it? Show grid. Or hit control and single quote. And now I've got this here. Now let's do a crop. And I'll just crop in here to where I can see this. Just get the bit that I need here. It's all about the light there. So let's just do that like that. It was a square one and apply right there. If when you do this, things aren't quite straight, you can still go back to the perspective tool here. And I have to zoom out, but so I'm sitting control and rolling the mouse wheel. And you can see where the picture is because it actually hasn't lost the rest of the picture is still there, it's just fallen outside the area you can see here. So I can always give this a little bit of an adjustment again and apply that to correct that up. Control zero to see it all and maybe to finish off, I'll go to the black and white here. No big button, the black brightens and the contrast, that's better underneath there. And then I'll add a bit of brightness here and turn up the contrast. So it looks a little bit sharper than the original. There you go. And we went then from back here to there. It's a bit nicer picture, isn't it? So that's it. Next time we'll do the same thing, but even quicker method to do that. But this shows the way you can shape things really, really well and very, very flexibly. Anyway, look forward to seeing you next time. And thank you very much for watching.